All right, guys, check it out. So we just got a clutch of bull snake eggs today. So we're gonna set up the same container super quick. All we're doing is grabbing these handy dandy parts to it. We grab some water crystal right here. Love this stuff for incubation. It's really good, honestly. It really, really helps so that you don't actually get any uh, splash from the waters or anything. No water gets on your eggs whatsoever. Holds humidity super, super well. We just fill it up with water and it absorbs it super nicely. You guys are gonna trip out on this bull snake clutch we got. We got a really nice clutch for the season. It is all a red Stillwater Hypo Albino to a red Stillwater Hypo Albino. So beautiful, beautiful baby should be coming out of that. It looks like a big clutch. We're here till I want to say 10 at night yesterday waiting for her to drop all of her eggs, but she didn't finish. So I tapped out, I went home and uh, waited till today. So here we are now, and we're gonna be taking care of these bull snake eggs. Let me grab these uh, little separators right here. A bunch of these right here. So we can do is separate these eggs. I've already incubated some of these. So I already know that it's only gonna take four slots or four spaces in between one, two, three, four. So fifth one. We just put this and again huge shout out to john and alex over at sim container they provided the best incubation boxes in the game guaranteed if you guys look at my incubators we obviously just use sim container we really don't use anything else um not not that anything else doesn't work but this works the best hands down if it's not a sim container you're probably not a real breeder anyway no i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking guys it's a it's just a preference but i definitely prefer this it's worked for me it's never failed i've done so many different kinds of eggs that i've incubated in some containers argus monitors corn snakes king snakes ball pythons you name it uh it's just been nothing but good good news for me so i uh why change or fix something that's not broken right so there we go we got our spaces in between right there we got our label on top of there and we're gonna come over here guys cameraman just almost died uh no <laughs> <laughs> just broke his old spot though, guys. All right, let's check this out. So again, this is the red albino uh, Stillwater Hypo bull snake right here. And check that out, guys. Just a beautiful clutch of eggs right there. Hey, mommy, you gonna be nice to us? Uh, look at that. She's still a nice girl. Protecting her eggs right there. It looks like we got one slug. And we're still gonna candle the eggs to make sure. And all I'm doing is moving her away from the eggs i can even put her around my neck and she won't do anything and we're just grabbing these eggs and i'll even put this over here so that you guys can get a better look at this and we still have to candle them so remember we're not just laying these in here however we want we're just putting them in there so that we can get over there and candle them but for right now yeah we're just going to put these all in there it does look like let's actually count these we got two four six eight ten 12 14 16 17 so we got a 17 egg clutch one dud so we got 16 fertiles in here it looks like we got some monitor food right there tegu food better yet put that one right there yes mom i'm stealing your eggs i'm sorry i'm gonna grab these see if we can't separate these we might need both hands bam so we got a nice amount right there Which ones we can break off. We got three more right there. And we got this clutch right there. So there's the whole clutch right there. We're about to go separate those. There's Mama Bull Snake A. Don't start acting up with me. You're a good snake. Stop it. Got to give you some water since you spilled that off. Oh, you're hissing now. Why? I don't hiss. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get bit, honestly, guys. So we're going to take this back into the incubation room. But good again that is what a dud looks like it's all yellow mushy nothing in there no embryo in there if there was it's now not but uh candling would be like so again you see no veins in this one so here let me turn off the light so we can get a better look no veins inside of this one whatsoever and then if i take a fertile egg like such you guys will see right there there's a better dark spot. See those veins inside? And that little embryo right there in the middle. So there we go, that is a fertile egg right there. And we gotta do that to all of these eggs right here. Make sure they're all good and keep the embryo facing upward. 
and then we should be solid to incubate. So I'll grab my Sharpie right here. We know that that one's right there. So that can continue being faced upwards. We got too much light for all of these, I guess. There's embryo right there. And I'm glad we candled that because that one was completely upside down how I just had it. So that is the importance of candling. Yes, usually they lay their eggs upwards where they're supposed to be, but why take chances when we have the means of making sure that these things are 100%. There's the embryo, beautiful, beautiful embryo right there with nice veins falling down. Take that right there. And we have a whole bunch more to go. Let's see that, check that out. Bam, two eggs split. How do you like your eggs? Sunny side up, easy, scrambled. I like mine incubated, but <laughs> that was a bad joke. Oh, what, is this an infertile egg? No, you did not, girl. Oh, I think this girl gave me a no bueno. What? It looks so good, too. We got no veins in this one, guys. You know what I'm going to do? I see something moving in here, so what I'm going to do is just mark it that way and leave it just in case. That's beautiful embryo right there. You guys can see clear as day. Bam, look at that. Mark it. All right guys, so check it out. Right here, we official count. Uh, I have one in here that is a 50-50 if it's a dud or not. I have one right here that is 100% a dud and we got two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16 eggs in there again, 15 for sure, one in there that might not make it. Uh, we will see what happens. We're gonna throw that into our beautiful sea serpents incubator right here. You guys can see I have it set at 82 degrees right there. So 82 degrees is perfect, perfect temp for these things to incubate at. We will put the lay date right here and which female male it was. So this one is going to be 0 0.1, meaning female, guys, and that is red, hypo, albino, right there to our red, hypo, albino, and that was to male number one right there. We have two of those, so I know which one's male number one, male number two. Today is the 29th, I believe. So 05, 29, 22. And we know that that clutch is now ready to incubate. You guys can see the Sharpie on top. Oh, I almost missed a step actually, guys. So to hold in real nice humidity, a nice trick I have is taking this press and seal right here. It can be any brand, whatever works for you guys. Measure it out. And I like to put this on top right here. I don't even press it down. I just let the lid do it. And that keeps humidity in real well. It tightens it really well as well. I just press this on, hit the sides. And there you go. This thing should hold in as much humidity as I need. You guys can see the crystals already expanded in there. Isn't touching my eggs whatsoever. You got the eggs floating right above. Humidity would just rise in here to 99 to 100%. I'll pop this open every two to four days, giving a little bit of oxygen in there and checking up on them. And besides this, we have one more clutch of bull snakes that should be happening pretty soon being laid pretty soon and we have a couple double clutches that we're waiting for we have another Viamini's blue beauty that's going to be laying soon a false water cobra that might be laying pretty soon she did give us duds recently so we'll see how that goes we did just get a hypo male for her so if we get lucky on the double clutch and a fertile clutch of that then we'll have that in here as well we are soon running out of space guys we really are we got retick eggs in both of these incubators right here we just had a whole bunch of burmese python eggs dropping i'll show you guys that video soon that's going to be a hard video to edit so we're still editing that one 
but um, pretty soon we'll have all of these babies hatching, figure out which ones are our holdbacks, and then we'll have the rest on our morph market. You guys can check that out on our Instagram, uh, s.b.reptiles, the link's in the bio, shows you the YouTube, Facebook, all of that, and then morph market at the bottom, that's where we put all of our available animals. So you guys are interested in anything that we end up producing, go to the Instagram guys, make sure to follow there. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the YouTube. Appreciate you guys for checking this out. Just want to give you guys a quick intro and uh, how to do this, I guess, to pull snake eggs and put them into incubation. And there we go, guys. So thank you. Peace out.